Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat, where I talk to you about my Bath and Body Works collection, and I'm also a Sensi consultant turned hobbyist. So today I'm going to do sort of an unboxing for some Bath and Body Works candles that I got from the $12.95 sale. This is not everything. I'm waiting on another box to appear that hasn't gotten here yet. It's either coming today or tomorrow. So that will probably be part of next week's videos. And I'm gonna put this at the beginning of my haul video for this week. That way you guys can see the unboxing and the stuff that you're looking for. Um, let me get started here. So I did open the box and I did sniff these. I might, might exchange or return some of it. I've, it's kind of busy around the house today. Sorry about any noise. Uh, this is Hibiscus Waterfalls. And it smells like an old lady perfume to me. Um, it is Tropical Hibiscus Sweet Peach Nectar Fresh Waterfall Mist. So I'm going to try burning it. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one. I'm going to try it first. If I don't like it after the first burn, then I'll exchange it probably for something else. The next one is Coconut Sandalwood. And this one, it's really, really light. I don't think it's going to be a big thrower. But it is really nice. It's, I wouldn't say it's something to die for, but it's nice. Uh, there's Coconut Palm, Luxurious Sandalwood, Warm Musk, and Jasmine. And we're going to have to wait and see on this one too. I mean, if it's like really turns out like crap, it might be exchanged. Which is fine, and even exchange or store credit will do me just fine for what I paid. Um, there's also sugar lemonade. This one, the notes are fresh lemon juice, sugar crystals, and crushed ice. I don't know what he's doing. This smells like lemon pledge. So, I'm not sure how I feel about it. These are absolutely gorgeous candles. I just, I don't know about the smell. I don't know what else I was expecting from Sugar Lemonade, but I'm not sure if it's really up my if these are really up my alley or not. I'm trying to branch out a little bit. I mean, if I like it, you know, it's a nice clean fragrance. I'm I might keep it, but if it really gets on my nerves, like the over smell of Pledge or something, I might end up exchanging it. Um, and this last one is the Black Cherry Seltzer. And the notes are sweet black cherries, fizzy seltzer water, and cane sugar. Now I can smell a little bit more of the black cherry. But for some reason, I think it's the seltzer. I'm smelling like a lime note in here. This also like, it kind of reminds me of like a lemon verbena rather than a cherry seltzer for some reason. Maybe it's just my nose today. But I am going to figure those out. I'm going to try them out and see if I like them or not. Um, hold on to my receipt and everything and go in. Sorry, I've got a booger in my eye. Go in there if I don't like them and exchange them. Which is an hour trip, an hour each way trip for me. So it'll have to be something I have to make the time to plan out. So that's why I'm going. If I like them, if I'm okay with them, I will just keep them. I mean, if they're absolutely... I can't stand it nasty, then I'm gonna have to exchange them. I could see if my sisters want them, but it's money that I just spent and I know they're not gonna buy them for me, they'll just want them. So um, we'll have to wait and see. But that is everything for this week's haul. I know this is gonna be at the beginning of the video. I am not gonna have a video on Saturday because we have some plans made already and I'll be back on Sunday. So enjoy the rest of this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat, where I talk to you about Bath and Body Works and my collection. I also talk to you about hygiene and I am a Scentsy consultant turned hobbyist. So today I am working again on my haul. I have a few things coming in that I ordered last week or the week before. Um, first, I think I'll go with, I really am getting sick and tired of some of the Macari stuff. Um, it's not the prices, it's not the people, well it is sometimes the people, um, 
the packaging. I um, got a good deal. I only paid like 15 bucks and that was out of money. Basically it was free because I sold some stuff anyway. But um, what kind of peeved me? So I ordered three body sprays, three fine fragrance mists. Um, these don't have the fragrance mist notes on them. That isn't what pissed me off. There's no lids. And they're all bundled together. And I have in the stars already, but I wouldn't mind having another one. It's kind of a, this completely leaked. And it's like almost all the way full too. So I'm probably going to be using that up. You can see what happened to the bottom of it. <clears throat> so I was pretty pissed about that. I actually need to message the seller and let her know that they completely leaked. Just because you write, just because you write on the box, this side up does not mean, I really don't think FedEx or UPS care. They really don't give a doodle. Um, <clears throat> I did get Sweet Escape and I really like this one. I don't know the notes to really pick them out, but I do know obviously they're strawberry. This one is really good. I know they might have some stuff on Amazon for this, but um, my favorite actually of the three is the blackberry and basil. I wish I had been buying more Bath & Body Works around this time this came out. This was like absolutely amazing. So I did go ahead and on Amazon, I ordered the set for this one. It smells like, it's like the bomb. It's, it's so delicious. Um, in the stars, I have a um, set of already, but I have so much of it, but not enough sprays. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this up or I might just use it as a room spray. What I have started doing is when, um, I have Scentsy room sprays, but they tend to have oil in them. And I don't like that because it can make a floor slick and no bueno. I fall and hurt myself and bust my ass enough when I'm on skates. The other day I ran into the wall in the bathroom. Yes, I ran into the wall. I didn't slip on anything. I just ran into the wall and I have like a big old bruise right here. And actually that's why I'm not wearing makeup because any kind of pressure right there. I could put on makeup without like foundation or anything, but I don't feel it looks right. So yeah, I comped my noggin, but, um, <clears throat> I like this because they evaporate, you know, you're still getting the smell, but it's evaporating into the ground. I have no idea what my dog is doing right now. He's making a lot of noise. And from Amazon, I got the Tahitian, the tree hut bear. Tahitian Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Shave Oil, which I am going to try. This goes kind of hand in hand with the rest of the stuff from my haul right now. And I've got this, well, one of the things from my haul. I also got, I do have, I do actually usually use refused, real, um, reusable razors, like refillable. But I wanted to try these out. I've seen, um, Seen these a few times the Gillette Venus 3 simply so I'm gonna try these out and see how these work um, I don't have any refills for my current razor um, it's the refillable one that's at Walmart I can't remember the name of it um, I'm talking saying too many ums today I've got coconut delight skin to mint shave cream as well I always make sure, even though I've never tried shave oil before, so I do have regular shave cream. I have a couple of um, shave lotions that I'm trying to finish right now, but I am going to toss that in the shower with me tomorrow morning and try it out and see how it goes. I usually shave once, maybe twice a week. I am not a relatively hairy person. I mean, look, I have like no eyebrows anyway, but that's part of it's from how I was, how I was born. I had like no hair, no fingernails, no stuff like that and part of it was because like back in the late two, the early 2000s and the late 90s when it was cool to pluck the living crap out of your eyebrows they don't grow back i'm sure there's plenty of people that are suffering from that now if you do pluck and shave your eyebrows a lot i warn you they don't always grow back the way they were um aside from those things i was at walmart and i wanted to try the brand new day lysol brand new day all-purpose mango and hibiscus I think I bought this when we first moved in here and I really liked it. I don't know why I didn't buy it again. Probably because there's so many other options out there. 
I wanted to, um, I might end up buying the refills for this at some point. I'm not sure. We do go through a lot of cleaning product in this house. And I also got the Lysol Brand New Day Disinfecting Wipes, Coconut, Water, and Sea Minerals. I would never seen this one before. Maybe I just never noticed it because I'm kind of gun shy when it comes to stuff like that. The fresh, I mean, I like fresh scent, but sometimes like the oceanic type of fragrances overpower me, no matter what it is. I like these. We're going to see how they work out, if it's something I like or something that I get sick of. I didn't see it. I looked for it in the cleaner, but I did not see it. Otherwise, I probably would have bought it. And last but not least, I know I look like a crazy person. I've been looking for this and have not seen it at my Walmart or Family Dollar, Dollar Tree. It is Dawn Gentle Clean, 50% Less Scrubbing Pomegranate Rose Water Scent. So they also have the Walmart brand of this, so I may buy that when I'm grocery shopping. Um, depending, I wanna go through a couple of things of the soap before I actually use it. I know I look like a crazy person, when, but you can never have enough soap because I mean, if I ran, which I'm not gonna run out of hand soap, you never know what you're gonna use it for. That one particularly, I'm probably gonna tell my husband not to wash the cars with it, but he uses my gain to wash the cars and do all sorts of stuff so I'm pretty sure it's not gonna hurt anything um, that is it for today I know that I will have some more stuff to add to this tomorrow and by the end of the week so until next time or until about 30 seconds from now I'll talk to you later bye hi and welcome to the incredible life of cat where I talk to you about my Bath and Body Works collection and I'm also a sensi consultant turned hobbyist Today, I'm working on my haul video again. Um, I've got an interesting one for you. I don't know if there's any couponers out there. I used to do a lot of coupons and I'm kind of getting back into it. So one of the things I got was a six pack of Dove Bars at Family Dollar. This was originally $6.90 and then I had a coupon for a dollar off so it was $5.90 and it makes it like 98 cents a bar after tax, I think, or even less. I'm sorry, I can't math today. But yeah, it made it a lot cheaper than like $1.25 a bar. Um, they have the big packs at Walmart, the like eight packs for like 10 bucks. And this will save you a little bit of money if you go to Family Dollar and have their coupons. I also, this is an interesting one. And that coupon was on the Family Dollar website. Um, the other one that was on the Family Dollar website was $4 off of the Chic disposable razors and they're originally like six dollars so you're paying two bucks for this so that was a pretty good deal those were both um you find the coupons on the family dollar website you have to sign up or have the app but you can just sign up and have a sign in to get the coupons clipped and that was a pretty good deal for me and the next one was actually a coupons.com um it was $6.50 off or $6.50 back because they rebate you um, of Airwick, uh, two Airwicks, if you buy two Airwicks. I bought these each for a dollar. So I spent $2 and then I got $6.50 back. So that was actually a moneymaker for $4.50. And the last but not least was this one was a small moneymaker. Um, there was also a coupon on coupons.com for the skin to mint for $4 off. And there's an Ibotta for $2 off. So this was $5.97, so not counting tax. I made three cents. So that three cents went towards tax. So I wanted to share those with you because I do try to keep an eye on deals and those are all items that, well, except for Dove, which I've already tried, they're all items that I wanted to try anyway. So you might as well get them for free or get paid to walk out of the store with them. Um, and then I have a small unboxing. I literally just like undo this. Uh, what I got from Lush, I ordered this last week, was another um, Love Bug bath bomb to match Betty, but I'm gonna use this one too. I used the last one. I forgot what the fragrance was on it, but it was pretty good. So I'm probably gonna try that out this Sunday. And I also got 
another cup of coffee face and body mask. I use this several times a week on my face in the mornings. I don't always do it in the evening because I'm not trying to refresh my face for anything. I'm just going to bed. Um, this is nice and it does last you quite a while. The price has gone up on it. It used to be $24.95 and now it's $29 for those that do use that or are interested. I'm checking to see because sometimes they stick samples in here, but I don't think they did this time. Last time they did, but nope. Just my receipt. And I think that is all for today. So until probably tomorrow, because I have another order showing up this afternoon, I will talk to you later. Bye. Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. This is where I share my Bath and Body Works collection, and I am a Scentsy consultant turned hobbyist. Um, I am starting my haul video for this week. So um, last night I went to Family Dollar, and then today I went to Dollar Tree from um, Family Dollar. I didn't, some of this stuff I did open because I had uh, wanted to use it yesterday because Sunday is cleaning day for us. I am going to start doing a separate video for like my home fragrance stuff and I'm going to include cleaning stuff with that because if your house isn't clean it's not worth really trying to make it smell good with candles so well um I do I have regularly cleaned my house but you know show you what I use or what I'm buying yada 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 uh one thing I did buy hold on I got these and you know what <laughs> someone left the toilet seat up in the bathroom and the little thing that hangs over the toilet, uh, dog chewed on. Luckily, he didn't chew on the actual um, cleaner, but it's sitting in the toilet tank now, so we can use that. But I got this, the Lysol Hygienic Automatic Toilet Cleaner, and this does help a lot keeping the toilet nice and fresh. And I got this, which was Altex Multi-Purpose Gloves. It was two sets. One set I actually is still in here. I'm going to go put them under the sink. But there's two sets in here and they work pretty good. I didn't get any cuts or anything in them yesterday. We got brand new day disinfecting wipes from Lysol. I do like this fragrance and I used it before in like the toilet bowl cleaner and everything else. So I picked that up. And I also got the palm olive lavender and lime because I wanted to try that one. Even though we have a dishwasher, there's just some stuff that you're not supposed to put in the dishwasher or if the dishwasher is too full, I just do them by hand. So I always kind of keep this on hand with me and um, the hubby washes cars with them and he tends to gravitate towards using just this as hand soap instead of the hand soap that I have. So I always make sure I have plenty. And then the next thing I have is Dollar Tree. Some of this is Easter stuff for Sita and this is why I'm doing this when she's not home. I did get other Easter stuff that I have taken away. We've got Kool-Aid Tropical Punch flavored cotton candy, which I've never seen this before, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I got two things of the mini Reese's eggs that I'm gonna put in her basket. This child loves Peeps, those um, coffee flavored Peeps. I didn't really care for them. She ate the whole damn box, so I got her some cotton candy flavored Peeps. Let's see what else did I get her. There is a peanut butter egg, a Palmer peanut butter egg I got her. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Make sure I get everything. I got her a little pair of bunny ears. Oh wait, that's for me. And is that everything for her? I also got her some Oreo flavored lip balm. She always gets the weird ones like this, so I wanted to grab that up for her when I saw it. I also got a aluminum free cucumber mint deodorant from Power Stick. I've never tried this one before, so we're gonna see how that goes. I got myself, I don't know if I'm gonna use this or if she's gonna use it. Icy flavored lip balm, the cherry icy flavored lip balm. She loves cherry ices, so she might steal that for me. I also, I'd seen this on someone else's um, use it up and they said it was pretty good. Uh, it is a cocoa butter and biotin two-step hair mask from Palmer's. Um, the oil 
that I got from Palmer's in my last haul. I used in my hair and sit is here this morning and it seems to be helping a little bit. It's not as dry. I also got some Colgate Classic Clean buy two get one free. I got some more toothbrushes because I am changing them out. Is that everything in this one? Yes. Make sure I leave all her stuff in here because I gotta hide it from her. Oh. And here comes the fun part. Oh, this one's heavy. Okay, so this looks like a method bottle, but it's not. It is La to La's Totally, LA's Totally Awesome. La's Totally Awesome, I'm not sure. Um, all purpose cleaner, degreaser, and spot remover. Actually puts cleaning power into plain old water. Hmm. Uh, cher in cherry blossom. This one isn't bad. It's a nice fresh scent. I smelled it when I was in the store. I almost lost the cap on it in the store too. But I um, wanted to try this one out for $1.25. It couldn't hurt. And then let's see. We've also got palm olive soft touch almond milk and blueberry scented. I actually didn't smell this one yet. It's very blueberry. So I'm gonna try that one out. I'm dropping stuff here. And I'm sorry if I look like Edward Cullen. I don't know if you can see all the sparkles. Um, I mentioned in a video that one of my sprays wasn't working and I got it to work and I sprayed myself to realize how sparkly it was. I got, this is a limited edition cotton cloud, notes of airy clouds and cotton glade spray. I didn't spray this in the store, so I'm not sure what it smells like. I know I have a lot of sprays, but I will use them, trust me. And then I've got limited edition Stay Cool Watermelon Notes of Watermelon Seltzer. I ain't spray this one in the store either, so we're gonna find out. I don't use too many of the aerosols. Every once in a while I do, so they will get used. And I've never seen this one before. It's I've seen Fabuloso. It's Fabuloso with vinegar. It's Apple multi-purpose cleaner, so I do have refillable bottles that I can fill this one up with. And let me get this one first. And there's also the Fabuloso Long Lasting Freshness Ocean Paradise. I haven't tried either of these and I used to use Fabuloso actually quite often at our old house and I don't mind using it once in a while. So I'm always switching up like the type of products that I'm using. I also, um, this, these don't have a brand name on them. I think they're just the Dollar Tree brand, uh, two tabs, toilet bowl cleaner that go in the back of, you know, make your blue water in the back of your tanks. So we're gonna try those out and see how they go after the other ones are done. So that is everything so far for my haul this week. I know I have a couple of things. I should have Lush coming. I should have a Bath and Body Works. And I also think I have some things from perfumenet.com. So we're gonna have to wait and see on that. But until then, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.